I noticed up at the top of the TV, archetypes. Oh, yeah. Primary yeah. and secondary archetypes. Yes, I know this sir. is a big question from our eSports fans. I know this is a big question from the community. What can you tell us about archetypes this year? I mean, so one of the big things now in creating yourself the way you want to do it is that you have a whole lot more to do. Now you can pick a primary archetype and a secondary archetype, and that will dictate the style of play you have, the way that your player develops. And it's just a lot, there's a lot more ways to take your character than you could in the past. There's a lot more versatility. So what's good, YouTube? Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip from the stream or whatever. But on the screen right now, I got some pictures taken from some phones, the people that were there, of these actual dual archetypes. They had them up on these like little display, whatever you want to call them, display boards. So if you guys want to, some of the pictures aren't the best quality, but hey, it is what it is. You guys can pause the video if you want to go ahead and read it. I'm not going to waste too much time on it. I just figured I'd show you guys some of these, um, you know, some of these pictures before we get into the actual streams that we pulled. And I'm going to be taking this video. I'm going to be breaking down the streams and go ahead and try to explain it as much as I can for you guys the best of my ability on basically what was going on what was happening etc so basically there was multiple streams annoying tv was streaming red city boy was streaming you know uh there was a lot of streams going on and so you know people got to see the whole archetype and creative player system and how everything was going so basically we can see here right now that it's just it's looking it's looking like everything that we asked for you got your primary skill and then you got your secondary skill and then it's looking like the badges are changing as opposed to like what archetype combos you put together so it's like you know um i feel the, like the closer the archetypes are together for like a certain skill base the higher badges you would have you know what i'm saying so this was just you know um more gameplay of them just finishing the game but it's about to go back to the whole archetype system in a second but yeah like i'm saying basically what it's looking like here is because a lot of the badge numbers are changing as you switch up the combo so i'm wondering you know is it the same amount of badges for each combo just different you know different levels or does each combination have its own badge number but the badge number is proportionate to the level that it's at you know what i'm saying so as you can see on the screen right now he got the three point shooting as you know the um as a primary skill and it's looking like as he's changing his secondary the stamina isn't really changing like the stamina is staying the same so you know i'm wondering how that's gonna work but you can see he's going ahead and it's like the cameraman was pretty awful to be honest but it's looking like the same it, it kind of has that same beginning from 2k17 but then it's a more updated version when you start to break down your archetypes is what it's looking like to be honest so yeah we had basically it's basically the same screen then you get into this section right here and you gotta pick your primary skill and your secondary skill and the attributes are changing accordingly so what i'm guessing is you know like these caps that we're seeing like these arrows at the end is like for instance attribute screen so what i'm guessing is these caps that we're seeing at the end is like the max it can be at for that archetype and then while you're playing park while you're playing pro and while you're playing my career while you're hitting the gym you have to earn those upgrades is basically you repping up because there is no rep system there is no rep system your overall is your rep so let's say for instance you make a player and then you rep him up to 99 when you make a new player he's gonna start from scratch because he's gonna be the lowest overall and you're gonna have to work him back up so like you, you better be pretty you know specific and sure on the player that you want to make because you're gonna want to have to stick with him for the journey so it looks like you're not just gonna be able to you know boost your player up a lot by just buying vcs it's like you're gonna have to actually grind it out by playing and you know it'll be fun in my opinion i think it'll be fun and i feel like you know you know it's just this just the the way the game's gonna go we can't we don't have any control over it so yeah i'm pretty sure that's how you're gonna be able to hit those white little arrows is where the stuff caps off at and like for instance this is a primary three-point shooter and secondary defending which a lot of people had and it was like a two-way star so we can see the three points pretty high mid-range is pretty high it's not all the way maxed out and the steals pretty good blocks is pretty good stamina is all the way up what i've been noticing is that for a lot of the archetypes the stamina is staying the same like the stamina has stayed the same throughout most of the builds that i've been seeing the stamina has been staying the same like it's just been same 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 stamina which you know it is what it is and this build right here doesn't have any 
Hall of Fame badges, but it does have seven gold badges. And then I can't really see very well. I want to say that's what? Whatever amount of silver and then 10 bronze. So, you know, I'm really wondering how this is going to play out and what's going to be the best build because it's looking like it really is like individual to your player and your build. So it's like, you know, the same badges you have ain't going to be the same badges somebody else can have. Like, we can't all get the same badges, which I don't really know how I feel about that. You know, I don't really know how I feel about us only being able to get a certain amount of badges. Like, you can't get as many badges as you wanted because I was a badge grinder. I used to grind the hell out of badges. You know what I'm saying? So, like, here's just another close up. So, this right here catch and shoot, gold, deep range, did I gold, limitless range, gold, corner specialist, gold, Tyler score, silver, which I'm confused because Tyler score was a shot creator badge but it's going to show up for this three point and defending mix. So it's really looking like it's a complex combo system. So it's like there's so many different ways to go about it because the if you go primary three point and primary passing and ball handling, it's completely different from primary uh, passing and ball handling and primary three point shooting. Like it's completely different. But this basically a primary sharp shooter, secondary playmaker that we see on the screen right here. And it's looking like you have a lot more gold and silver badges, so less amount of bronze dead. badges from the three point and defending. Uh, stamina stayed the same. And it's just the passing looks pretty, the, the ball head looks decent. It looks decent. I don't know if you're gonna be able to speed boost, but it looks like you'll be able to, you know, to bust out some moves. So I'm wondering what's the cap off for the speed boosting. I wonder if there's even going to be speed boosting. Uh, Red City Boy said that he was momentum dribbling. I didn't see it in the stream, but he said he did the momentum. And Annoying TV kept saying that he was speed boosting, but we didn't see him speed boost not one time. We didn't see him speed boost at all the whole time he was, you know, doing his little 2v2 where he kept breaking. We didn't see him speed boost at all. So... I don't really know it's gonna be one of those things we're just gonna have to you know play around with it until we figure it out but the sad part is is that for every new player that you make for every new player that you make you're gonna have to start over with the whole rep system because the rep is now a representation of the overall and if I remember correctly um let me think here if I remember correctly the way this whole but before I get to that let's go on this I forgot to talk about the pure archetype so if you pick the same for the primary and the secondary then it's a pure archetype a pure shooter so you see the three points maxed out mid range is almost maxed out stamina stayed the same layups is pretty much the same as it was before but a lot of the other attributes are a lot lower the ball handling is a lot lower passing rebounding steals everything's a lot lower but look at that four hall of fame badges four hall of fame badges so i've seen people still be able to get hall of fame badges with some combinations like the shot creator and playmaker back and forth both had um hall of fame badges with the combo so like i said you gotta play around with it and see what works so it's like whatever position you choose whatever build you choose you're gonna have to play around with it till you figure out which one you really want to go with and it's just like I feel like regardless of what it is, it's, uh, every build has its own uh, benefits. Every combo has its own benefits. So, I mean, apologize for the stutter, but it's just, it's too much. It's too much to deal with. So, you know, it's, it's interesting to see. But, yeah, like I was saying, with the whole rep up system and everything, it looks like a 60 overall is rookie. Once you hit 70 overall, you're a pro. 80 overall, you get to all-star. 90 overall, you get to superstar. And then when you get to a 99 overall you are considered a legend now i don't really know if i really like this system because i feel like you know we wanted a rep system you know like part of the reason why you go to the park is so that you can wrap up you know everybody want to wrap up take their shirt off when they hit superstar or, or used to be uh used to be legend or whatever back in the old 2k's but you know i mean take your shirt off when you hit superstar you know so it's like what are we grinding for i want to know what the rewards are you know so you telling me we can't take our shirt off till we get to a 90 overall like you know what i'm saying but i feel like if that's the case then you can't just buy vc to get your way up to the overall that you want to get to you have to earn it before you can buy the vc to get it so it's looking like you still got to grind regardless. So they still going to make us grind some way. But the good part about it is you don't have to just grind out my career. You can 
Play Park if you want to play Park. Play Program if you want to play Program. Play My Career if you want to play My Career. You're going to get rep regardless. You're going to increase your overall, get upgrades regardless of what you choose. But from what I've been hearing from just listening to the Dez talk and all the streams I've been listening to, the more you play of every game mode, the faster your overall rises. So, you know, if you're playing Park and you're playing My Career and you're playing Program, you're going to rep up a lot faster than if you're just playing the Park and just strictly the Park. So, you know, it's different ways. So it's just like, you know, you get to pick what you want to start out with, but eventually you're going to have to, you know, move around. And you got to think about it. Some badges will be a lot easier to get in the park, but then some badges will be a lot easier to get in my career or let's say pro -in. Like Let's say, for instance, catch and shoot. How often could you really, how quick could you get catch and shoot at the park as opposed to in my career? You can just call for the ball in the corner and spot up. You know what I'm saying? So it's... It goes both ways. So, yeah, you don't have to do the same grind as last year, but, you know, it's just you get to choose which way you want to go. And that's why I really fool with this whole thing. So, like, you even see him right here with his whole little 75 overall. And then um, we can get to this real quick. This is the whole this is the whole uh, wall of fame. This is what all you know likes grinded for. That's what y'all grinded for, to get your name on a wall. That's, hey, shout out to y'all. Nah, seriously, shout out to y'all. Y'all got your name on a wall. And you know, yeah, y'all, y'all the stuff. Y'all got your name on the wall. Hours and hours of your life to get your name on the wall. But ain't gonna hate on my man. It is what it is. They did what they had to do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully now you have a better, if not more clear understanding of the dual archetypes and the pure archetype system. And you know, you could always just go back, pause the video, and just look at the stats individually. But at the end of the day, we're gonna have to wait till we get the game before we can, you know, go more in depth about it. But I was glad to get this little snippet, little preview, and I hope as y'all. Now I hope y'all enjoyed this whole video. I know it was a long one, but that's all I got for today. You know what I mean? I'm ripping that bitch like I'm spanky. I'm a New York. Me. Most of my bitches they date me I put them down as my baby I put them down as my chest You run up